Anyway, just because I know some people who are into fans are also into lighting, including me to a certain extent, I decided to show the lighting situation during most of, during most nights in our apartment. Anyways, normally we keep the chandelier over there turned on and we just keep lamps on. This light and that light are not normally turned on unless we're doing stuff there. Over here, this, this lamp is just pretty much always on when it's, it never gets dark. Over here, you can see how the seats are bulb. Yeah. There's that. Over here, we've got this chandelier thing, which we don't use much. We only really use it again when people are here. Like when we moved in, when we first moved in, we used, we used this light and the chandelier thing that used to be here until we put the ceiling fan in all the time and full brightness until we decided to try and save energy and also not have it too bright and, you know, just use the lamps. This lamp is always on as well whenever we're Whenever it's dark, I'm not sure I can but just go to see if I want to leave. I think it's an LED. I don't know. Could be a CFL, could be an LED, I don't know exactly, but yeah. And just for a little bit of what is that? This actually is a function where if you turn it on once, the lower session comes on. And by the way, only two of these bulbs work now. We're still trying to find replacements. And you turn it off and you turn it on a second time. These lights will turn on the second row. And and so on. Yeah. And fourth time, all of them will turn on. Fifth time, you'll start getting interesting combinations like the two bottom, the bottom and the middle section, and then bottom and the top section, and the two in the middle and the top section. So yeah, and yeah. And this used to be the same. The light fixture that used to be here had this. The back fixture is still with us, by the way. We were just renting, so if we ever move, we'll take the ceiling fan down and put the light fixture up. For those of you who don't know, the ceiling fan is a fan animation beneath it. I used this light earlier when I was studying. So, yeah. Whenever you use it, whenever I use it in studying, it's almost always in full brightness. But sometimes maybe with like a dinner party, we have it on just for aesthetics, and we have it on like a dim setting or something like that. Let's see. Around here sometimes. So yeah. That and over here, we got this chandelier. Let's get it on. But it's almost always on, unless it's bright. Yeah, it's like the standard actually, it's, I thought it was beautiful. And I've been debating on how old this is. It looks like something from the 1980s and 90s, maybe, maybe in the 70s, but this place was built back in the 70s. However, there's still stuff like this being produced today. And by the way, those are CFLs, they're used to, and there's one LED over there. They, they're used to be just incandescent energy socks and we place them and put these in. The, the incandescents are, are still with us, by the way, we're gonna put them back. And anyway, if, we would probably sell them because, you know, you know there might be light bulbs like us out there if we didn't actually buy this place, so yeah. 
However, since these two lights, since the since that light over there and the light that used to be here seem seem relatively new with a very electronic, you know, click system or however you want to call it. I'm assuming that this could be about the same as that, but then again that and the light fish that used to be here could have replaced one of those. Good. So yeah. And this is lampy ones that we almost never use unless the chandelier is turned off. And there's also a balcony light which we almost never use ever. I don't know if last time I used it. And here in the kitchen, we have these, these recess lights which are always on unless it's to the right. These are religiously on every night. Two ward of cockroaches which like it dark. So yeah. Not that this is a good night, like just in case it's an emergency and we have to go out we can see where we're going. Or if you want to make that night light away, that's the dishwasher and the exhaust fan is also religiously on 24 7 unless it's a typhoon or we're cleaning it. But well, that's about it. I don't mind as well showing the bedrooms. That light's on. And that room is not that damn bad on. Sometimes that is candy as well, but that light's not. In here, we just got that modern right here, reading that thing on. In my room, I've got this other IKEA that I've turned on. It's quite enough. I'd rather have that ceiling light on, but it's half, but it's halogen, so yeah, it is quite favoring the better sleep of this instead. And also, this would create a, a much softer light. I never really use it when I'm getting ready for bed, but when it's bedtime, when I'm actually going to sleep, I turn it off. So my room is actually dark. But this fashion light stays on all the time with this door open, so that's a night light. I need these batch of lights. But, anyways, there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you're new, please feel free to check out my channel. And if you like my videos, subscribe. And there's more to go.